Hey my loves, it's Kaylin Rose and I'm back with another video. To those of you who don't know me, I have a faith-based channel with prophetic words. And to those of you who are returning, welcome back. So today's word of the day from the Lord is you going from rejected to sought after. A bloodless victory. A sweatless victory. And so this comes out of straight out of Esther. And we start at verse 16. But I did it, I did my studying out of the KJV, but this is the NIV version. And it says, Then Mamukin replied in the presence of the king, nobles said, Queen Vashti has done wrong, not only against the king, but also against all the, the nobles and the peoples of all the provinces of King Xerxes. For the queen's conduct will become known to all the women, and so they will despise their husbands and say, King Xerxes commanded Queen Vashti to be brought before him, but she would not come. This very day, the Persian and Median women of nobility who have heard about the queen's conduct will respond to all the king's nobles in the same way. There will be no end of disrespect or discord. So when we pause right there, when we park right there, this is the main key points I wanna let you guys know that one act of disobedient affects the nation. One sin, one betrayal, one lusting, one divorce, affects your bloodline, affects the nation. So I just want to put that out there before you think your single act of obedience or disobedience is meaningless. It has a ripple effect. The whole province was affected. Every woman was now going to despise their own husband because of Queen Vashti. So let's move on to the next point as to how you going from rejected to sought after. Because then they were replacing a successor to Vashti since she was being dethroned. That's you. You're the one being sought after. And to be sought after means to look for, to search, to be hunted for. It means to proceed by scent. And the only way you're going to be recognized, you're going to be chosen, is because you're going to have that scent of God on you. You're going to have the favor of God on your life for those who are looking to replace the last person that was in position. So just stay in your position because... You're being sought after. No longer will you be rejected. And so, this is what the word of the Lord says in Esther 2. It says, Mordecai had a cousin named Hadassah, whom he had brought up because she had neither father nor mother. This young woman who was known as Esther had a lovely figure and was beautiful. Mordecai had taken her as his own daughter when her mother and father had died. So for those of you feeling rejected, Esther had neither father nor mother. She was an orphan. And many of you might even have a father and mother, but still have felt rejected by them or felt like unloved or emotionally disconnected. So I related to Esther in that moment. But guess what? Just as Mordecai took her in as her own, God is saying today, I've taken you in as my own. My love for you is as if I'm your father and mother now. So you don't have to feel abandoned. You don't have to feel rejected because with God's love, he has taken you in. And with God's love and power, no one can stop and block you from the favor that you're about to receive. And so next, I just have to say that in the next verse nine, it says, when Esther was brought into the king's palace, 
They said, she pleased the king and won his favor and immediately provided her with beauty treatments and special food. He assigned her to seven female attendants selected from the king's palace and moved her and her attendants into the best place in her room. So Hadassah, Esther's name literally means myrtle. And myrtle is a flower, a beautiful flower that only royals have mainly used as flowers in their weddings and their banquets at their feasts. And the best part about a myrtle is that it, signif it signifies a bloodless victory. That's literally what myrtle means. And so when God has chosen you, you have a bloodless, sweatless victory over anything that's coming against you, over anything you want in this life. All you have to do is ask God because he says, you have won the favor. He has created you your own table. Many of you have been trying to sit at someone else's table for all your life. But God's coming in to say that you have won the flavor. You are beautiful in his eyesight. You are his own. So he provides the best special food, best treatments, purification, a, a place to live. The best. He's not going to give you nothing that royalty wouldn't have and i say all this to say that in verse 17 chapter 2 it says now the king was attracted to esther more than any other woman and she won his favor and approval more than any of the other virgins so he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of vashti and the king gave a great banquet esther's banquet and for all his nobles and officials, he proclaimed a holiday throughout the provinces and distributed gifts with royal liberality. So that means there's freedom. There's freedom in your bloodline. There's freedom at your table. You have your own banquet. You have your own feast. You don't have to eat off of anybody's plate. You don't have to beg or ask or search anymore. The table is set in the presence of your enemies. He crowned you. You don't have to search. You don't got to beg. Because to be sought after, that means people are going to beg for you. They're desperate for you. They're trying to obtain you, your grace, your favor, your knowledge, your talents, your gifts, let alone God has just given you some gifts. It says he proclaimed a holiday and distributed gifts with royal liberty. You're getting the royal treatment. So I love you guys and I pray today that you would no longer feel rejected and you would receive God's love into his kingdom, into his royal priesthood. You're a royal people, you're a royal child. And it's time for you to see yourself as that, as deserving and worthy of having your own table, your own wealth, your own mindset, your own traditions your own style god says you are no longer rejected your new name is sought after i love you guys have a blessed day